Accuracy in measurements means taking accurate measurements. Accuracy is all about you. It's very subjective. It has nothing to do with the measuring instrument that you're using. There are a couple of measurement errors that I want to feature. One of them is on a separate video, the parallax error. Another one that's coming right up here is cosine error. I can demonstrate this cosine error with this ruler and this strip of wood here. What is the strip of wood, sorry, what is the width of the strip of wood here when I line up there and there? It is 10, 20, 30, 33 millimeters. How is that? So this is a measurement that's taken correctly. Now cosine error looks like this. How about that? In this arrangement I intentionally skewed the piece of wood to be measured. Now if I line up my piece of wood in this direction to the 30, now it's not 37 millimeters anymore, now it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 45 millimeters wide. In this configuration here, intentionally, I measured this way, square across, and I measured skewed. The meaning of or definition of cosine error is taking a measurement when the direction of the dimension to be measured is not parallel with the measuring instrument. So this would be the line of the measuring instrument. This is and and this is how width is measured straight across. This is the direction of the dimension to be measured and so that's how the measuring instrument also should run if you want to measure that particular dimension. It's fairly straightforward. Nobody in his right mind would skew the measurements this way on a short piece like this but it does happen when you're trying to measure length on a, on a long piece that inadvertently just like this, you do not measure parallel with the direction of the dimension. Length runs this way and now the measuring instrument is in fact parallel with the dimension to be measured. Okay, so that would be the idea of cosine error. So we have parallax error in a separate video. This is cosine error. Oh, another one is accuracy is also greatly affected by calibration. Now, what can you possibly calculate on a Garfield ruler? Not a whole lot, but if your zero is missing and if you start taking measurements from zero, that could be an issue. How chipped or broken or cracked or battered the edge of a ruler is, that affects accuracy. Another factor other than mechanical damage is temperature. Take a look at this micrometer here. It has a plastic layer on this metal body here on the caliper so that it doesn't transfer, so that heat from your hands and fingers doesn't get transferred onto the metal body of the micrometer so that the temperature doesn't affect the measurement and the measuring instrument. Because when you do measure the uh, length with this one. Uh, temperature will make things elongate. Okay, so if the instrument, measuring instrument, elongates and gets larger, that's not going to be an accurate measurement. Okay, so that's another temperature. Uh, sorry, that's another source of inaccuracy. Temperature. Another calibration that could take place, and it relates to weighing things is you gotta calculate your you gotta calibrate your scales. Uh, calibration on a scale would look like placing a test mass on the scale, a test mass with a known mass, placing that on the scale and making sure that the mass reading on an instrument actually coincides with the mass indicated on the test block. Okay, tower cranes 
get calibrated on a daily basis they pick up a test block that's somewhere on the construction site in every corner and uh, whatever you do don't make it into a workbench because it's picked up and lifted every day to calibrate the scale another type of calibration I can show you on this micrometer here when I close the spindle on the anvil and the ratchet clicks and it's not over tightened that zero oops, I didn't lock it okay I lock it so it doesn't spin away that zero on the spindle scale should line up with that zero on the main scale just like so and this calibration ensures or this check ensures that there is no dirt or some kind of sticky material skewing or throwing off your measurements either on the anvil or on the uh, on the spindle so they should at the beginning of the measurement oops now I over tightened it with too many clicks there they should all read zero 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 before you're taking any measurements so that nothing adds to your measurements or you're not making a measurement error so those would be uh, the main ones again temperature calibration issues cosine error and parallax error that affect accuracy accuracy means taking accurate measurements without the above listed measurement errors